don't really, uh, you know, they're, they're not going to gank super aggressively. They're not going to buy space for the Alchemist in that fashion. If they are in a fight, a Coddle doesn't last long. The Chikiro, they, they, I mean, he's tanky, I guess, but they don't really last long. So yeah. if they can dislodge, let's see if OG can actually get this two rune for the resolution. Because oh, they're, uh, oh, as far as the locked up. Here comes the orb, and it's a little bit off the mark. Now Yapsor is going to get hit with the beer. And we'll take quite a bit of damage here. They're going to try to turn around, but Puppy is only a Lich. They can't really do that much damage. This is going to take the hero as Jajiro. He's going to level up the Frost Flash, trying to go for this first blood. They need to get it for this Lich's sake, and they will do so. That is still... It's, still, it's going to be two runes. Especially if, as a Queen of Pain, you go towards mid, you usually get a Blink Dagger. A uh, Blink Dagger, a bottle. A very different items there. He's going to maybe set up for Resolution. Another Dagger is going to be thrown out. Resolution is going to be out. And they will have just enough damage. Yapsor in mid one, sitting in the acid. Gotta watch out for this final illuminate. Yapsor will dodge it mid one as well, will blink out. That was so well played. Like, he wouldn't have gone for it if he. If, oh, top lane actually, this is a split thing. Just only for survivability, I think. Yeah. Oh. Could this be a kill actually? Bell magic. Pretty good on that tornado. With Vada can face shift, but he'll die to the emulation oh. or the crit. <laughs> As S4 resumes his main form, split on Puck is so difficult to use to actually get a kill. Pretty good play. I think it was a decent chance at killing him, but they felt like if we can force a people, we're gonna be happy about it. And a haste on Fada actually. Resolution used ultimate now, so... I'm not really sure what hero they should be going for right now. Fada's gonna skip over the Illuminate. And look for Jarax instead of No Tail. Definitely the easier hero here. Coil onto two. Fada has got to watch himself because No Tail does have an ultimate, but the Sonic Way will cut through first. No Tail is going to go Ghost Shroud. Scythe will not get the kill. It's just short. And with the oh, Bayfall, they lose two. Rushing the battle fury. And I think this is a really good move because he's, he's going to get it at, uh, at a pretty good pace, even though it could be better if he was safe and uncontested. But this is gonna escalate his form a lot, and I, I do think this is a randomization that might win them the game. Top lane, he can get jumped up in mid one though, not getting any lucky bounces with the chain oh. frost though, and actually they will. At the very tail end, Puppy will be dropped by the dots, and now mid one has a blink. No it real action for, for S4, though. Mid one, sticking around, will pull out a rock that will be dodged. The Earth aspect will bring S4 back to safety. Yeah, I mean, the Battle Fury... I think, which is a pretty good move in itself. He, he did clean a wave. Oh, that's a committal though. I think it's, he should die here, I think. Get sight. That is not going to be a kill. He will go down. Oil would have been used, but uh, just on an active post in the middle of nowhere like that, that would be a heavy risk. No prize. They're gonna defend this top lane as well. He's great stolen on Yapsor, so he's tanky now, I guess. He's not going for a fly. And they'll get right on top of him with a two-man coil now. Fly will drop. How can they kill off resolution? It does seem like they need another two heroes for this. And the heroes are actually coming in for OG first, as Jerax is gonna pull in S4. Yeah, but they're kind of trying to punish Fata not having a blink, I think. That's their plan. Ooh, S4 going in deep. That's probably one kill on Japsor. And lift up the Lich, avoid him throughout the Cane Frost. Might still be able to get it off, but it's st spending so much time in the air. We'll finally ditch it onto No Tail, which will not be a Chain Frost, just a Frost. And that is going to be the team fight that we're looking for. Now that is going to make the difference. It's not really like on the best heroes to kill off, but it was an Aktos on the Necropos. So perfect item to deal with this anti mage and that. Oh, mid lane fly. Fly though is going to get jumped by mid one. Sonic Wave is available here. He Defense has to commit it. Mid one is think. going to think about saving it. He's going to use another screen instead. He will get oh, the an Aktos. S4 right on his face. He still has a blink. Oh. He will not get down to the low ground though. Mid one doesn't blink far enough. He will go God. down and off to the side. Resolution comes and cleans up Yapsor. That was a little bit of a greedy play there from Secret. Oh, Could this be punished? Coming in with a Aatos and a Scythe. Ace will get Scythe up to stun. Don't really do all that much. S4 though, gonna jump forward with the split. He's now out of mana thanks to that Coddle and Fly again. Just Meanwhile, Secret are smoking. The secret they want to catch people. To go in a little bit too far. They have the storm it aspect now. Wind walked forward. It does not blow the smoke. Though. It needs to be the Earth Panda, I think. Mm -hmm. Earth Panda is the main panda. No Tail it is going to be grouped up with said panda. Both teams Mid one does jump in onto No Tail. Orb damage is enough. 
Chain Frost this time bouncing through pretty well back to S4 and this neutral camp mid one. So he's gonna get torn to shreds by Resolution and Jerax. The Alchemist pulled in by the Coddle. Oh, and now has to try to make a desperate escape. He will orb not quite down to the low ground. It looks like he will still survive. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a nice facial secret, but uh, it's not gonna be enough uh, if he skips going depths or... He's staying very cocky. His team could back him up here, though. He has a Yule Scepter. Oh, self done. He will be a little bit uh, defensively used there to get rid of... Oh, he's gonna go rage, 5 seconds cooldown. Two seconds only is the opening here for Secret, and they are gonna jump in with Bada. Sonic Wave is here, Ace has also arrived. Sonic Wave, Ice Path still stolen, but Resolution is still fine, although Ace oh, is trying to make the steal. He'll seal, he'll get it with the Mana Void, blink out, or an Atos can land on him. Sweet Hand also can get away from S4, but Puppy does not have that same luxury. They go in really, really deep and just get annihilated by this Illuminate. It's now Yapsor and Fada second aside. And Yapsor are actually not stuck, he just walks clean out, and Fada doesn't blink, but S4 actually gonna jump forward. For a little bit of action onto this Rubik, steals just the clap. That's not going to do enough. And Fada's very low on mana. Ant Mage is returning. S4 no tails. Time to split in one. No mana void to actually get the last hits. He's got to fight up against Evasion. And now the split is out. Onto the Ant Mage won't do a lot of damage. Can he buy enough space for No Tail and Jerax to get Oh, he has to be careful around Get man. out. Jump in. Silence of No Tail. Fade, but we'll get the kill as Ace. Oh, God. This could be horrible S4. for S4. Now he has I think to try he's out to of range. Break for it. He does have a blink dagger. It looks like he should probably be fine as no one's giving chase. But to the true carry in the team, uh, both in like Liquid and OG, for example. So this is a smoke that needs uh, needs a kill. It needs results. Solution gonna blink in, finds Ace with one stun. Puppy sneaks in a four staff, but there's still an auto Ice path and a scythe. There's no damage here though. It won't kill. Nowhere close. Do much for them. With the double damage though on resolution, they will be able to jump in, grab Roche pretty safely, pretty quickly. But jump in from Bada. Chain Frost is out as well. Will bounce back to S4. He will get the split off. Resolution takes a lot of damage from that in the meantime. Wasn't ever going to die to that. They will absorb this. Well, that Sonic Wave was not the play, mid one. Now he's in a little bit of trouble. We'll blink up to the high ground. Just try to make a break for it with the bottle fighting against that mana leak. We'll have another blink now, and he will get away as they take down Fly elsewhere. Oh, space faded. Looking for No Tail, perhaps. The Queen of Pain has survived. No Tail, though, is pretty difficult to actually deal with. Resolution okay. will survive at the end of the day. Barely. But over towards bottom lane, Ace is going to start ratting. S4 is here, but the Haze gets blocked by the Lincoln Sphere. And this tower is going to drop here. S4 cannot hold this by himself. Ace is going to grab it and be on his merry way. Secret now with the gold lead above the Alchemist Draft. Play here. Walk is just going to destroy one more creep wave here. They do apply the ice armor over to this bottom lane. Fada going to the creep wave. Hope for that back throw protection to kick in. Not quite just yet. There is a creep wave nowhere nearby on the bottom lane for the Radiant. They just still have to stick around. They gotta go all in. The Super Puppy is aiming that four staff as long as he can. He will get scythed, but it's not actually gonna kill him off. Chain Frost still bounces between S4 and No Tail. He needs to get the split off immediately, but he's hit with the Orc and he will go down. Oh no, that was not the play. No Tail now in a lot of trouble. Trying to get up to the high ground, but he doesn't have a four staff, so he just ran up against the wall. Ace is stuck in the base of the Radiant right now. Up against the buyback from S4, he will be able to blink out. He will be able to make an escape. Fly, though, will not. As they drop the coil and get another one. Secret, get three heroes, pull out a buyback, keep their tower alive. I did not expect that result. And I don't think OG expected that either. No. Imagine if S4 had a Lotus that fight, though. Then... None of That is it's pretty frustrating. Not only for us, but even more so for the, all the players. Not only OG, of course. But uh, I, I, I really see the, the Echo Saber as a big mistake from S4. And I think he probably thinks that as well. As in, the Lotus could have been definitely a game-winning item in, in that fight. If, when they commit for him that hard and he just pops ultimate. And Gapser is actually pretty high level as well. But his talents aren't ridiculous either. No, they're going pretty deep here. Pulse by Yapsor is going to bring No Tail a little bit closer to the mid one, who's not that healthy. Meanwhile, he did have the Lincoln Spear up, and in the backside, we got a coil onto two. Hags on Yerax as well now. Yeah, he's with that. Daylight, though, in 10 seconds. 
That's soon. They're going to jump in towards the Alchemist. His ultimate runs out, and he does get the Aegis Reclaimed. Popping the Mance style now, but he's not getting that much support from his allies. Will again have another ultimate available. Chain Frost still bouncing. They'll disengage away from the split. This potion does go out. Yapsor will dodge it. Mid one has a blink out, as does Yapsor. The chase is on for Secret Heroes, but already we have a couple getting out. Two, three, four. Everyone is going to live. What a good Oh my thing. god. That was very close to being an absolute disaster from OG. This still is far from good. Yes, even more elusive left than the other two. Oh, they are. Oh, Ace? Damage here, Scythe won't quite kill, Illuminate, still not good enough, the Stunderation though, seemingly forever will kill off the Antimage, now chasing after Yapsor, can't juke this, he may... Well, that's a gem as well, or... Oh. No, not gonna happen. Oh, he didn't have the gem anymore. down, a handful of heroes over in the bottom lane, in the meantime, Jakiro gonna get jumped by the Quap, no Sonic Wave though, so a TP out is gonna keep him alive. But uh, I'm not sure if they can push here, I think Ace might actually be able to hold the buyback. Quap, mid one, like bottom lane? He's gonna get a yeah, solo kill. Either mid one in this lane or elsewhere. Fly will die to soul burn. And they will commit to the chain frost over in this mid lane, trying to spin the herd a little bit, but with the ice armor and only the lich holding this, it will be the tower to fall. Lil Quap is doing her job on the bottom lane, looking for racks for racks. On no tail. Kind of being in the corner here, as is resolution. Auto though is completely out of mana. They will get the jump in onto the Brewmaster. He has no split, there's no damage here. The plus is kind of being kept out. But mid one will solo kill no tail in the meantime. And they're still fighting over this mid rax. The anti-mage is up in 10 seconds. OG don't oh, have they need to get out. power here. And nighttime is gonna be coming very soon as well. The Brewmaster is hit with the soul burn. He's silenced. Pushback is gonna give him some space. The split though is not gonna come out in time. And now Anti-Mage is back. Can he oh, catch up to anyone? Call. Looks like Jerax is in vision range That's and he gem. has dust. They are going to take down the Coddle, take his gem, and it is nighttime soon as well. Ultimately, the Rax will be claimed for secret. And OG get nothing. Ag Brewmaster would make you guys just absolutely monstrous. Now, it's it definitely a lot weaker and Macropire is not really sure worth the upgrade either. Top lane tower will be pushed. Ace does have that Aegis, and the Queen of Pain does have well, double armor items, double plate mail items rather. AC and Shiva's guard up to those instead of the straight maelstrom, which she will actually just get next. Actually, killing off this Queen of Pain will be pretty difficult. It does seem like No Tail is really the only person to do a resolution oh, resolution. on all of base damage. Can't really afford to. He's gonna jump in. Let's see the Lich. The gonna keep him safe. They don't have any detection here. Ace gonna get blinding lights. Push back. He's gonna manage to style that off though. The Chain Frost still bouncing through. Onto the next post. That'll be No Tail down. He can't get the sight out. Resolution now on the run. As the Brewmaster is doing what he can to slow down this chase, but Resolution does not get enough help here. Alchemist does have a buyback. They will return. But the Brulings, they are not in a great spot right now. They're chasing forward, looking for Jerax or at least Fada. And mid one, they are going to try to go for this Keeper of the Light. The damage is just enough. And where did S4 get off to? He is going to survive, it looks like. Just narrowly TP out. Ace knows what to do. Most of them at least will have buyback, but still secret. Now with a 26k gold lead above the Alchemist. Are looking pretty darn unstoppable. They're gonna try to make one last desperation fight, but mid one taking literally no damage here from that Alchemist hit. They're gonna get on top of Jarex, kill off the Coddle for good. He's down for a full minute, no buyback, and still they have the cheese and still they have the Aegis. Mid one is not losing any HP here. Blade forward with the spell life steal. Get right back up to full, and he's just gonna continue this fight. Antimate, where is he? He's gonna jump right in, kill off S4. That's GG. Yeah, what a performance on Secret. Really clean Ace is definitely performing as a carry for them. You know, this the game one where he played the Knights that was not the most fun out of Knights I've seen. And uh, here he just plays the, the total number one role to to kind of show that he can he is not a one type player, he's definitely versatile and very talented and I think he had the he I think he made the most impact for his team to take this game.